Hello, this is Michael Jillen. Today I'll be doing a review on these do-it-yourself power banks. I got it on eBay. It comes in three different colors and it costs $3.90 approximately plus 2.79. It is being converted from euros. And as you can see over here, you have the different colors. I like black, so I just chose black. And there's also different varieties you can get it in. Type C, uh, iOS, and micro USB. The iOS will be a lightning cable. So type C will be like the one that I got. But you could also get the iOS cable, which is basically the regular lightning charger cable. Uh, so that's really nice. And in the description it says it works for 18650s and then all the way up to 21700 batteries and you can basically switch out your battery. I got a pack of two because um, once I was paying for shipping I figured I might as well get two. Now the real question is, is why would someone buy a do-it-yourself power bank, um, as you can see over here uh, unwrapped, over a regular uh, power bank like this. Uh, this is an anchor power bank, works really well. Why would you not want that? So first of all, this Anchor Power Bank is pretty awesome. It doesn't have Type-C and it doesn't have a built-in cable, but I'm sure you can get power banks that do. So why would you get this over this? And I guess the answer varies for different people, but for me, it's that I have a lot of 18650 batteries and I'm using a lot of 18650 batteries. And I think that it's a good idea. If I could just switch out the batteries, that would be pretty cool. Um, that way I don't have to carry multiple power banks. Well, if I go on a trip that requ requires more than one power, I could use uh, multiple different um, 18650s or if I have 21700 batteries. So that's really nice. The reason why I have a lot of 18650 batteries is because I have a lot of flashlights. Like, for example, this uh, Workhouse FC13 flashlight um, or the Workhouse FC11 flashlight. And this is actually using an um, 18350 battery, but I bought a special tube for that, but originally it comes in 18650 just like this. I also have many more flashlights, Workhouse, Sofern, they all make flashlights that use these types of batteries. And honestly, um, I have a lot of them, so that's the reason. Now the thing is, is that Workhouse and Sofern, they both have um, Type-C ports that you can actually use to power up your uh, phone with it. However, uh, two problems with that. Uh, first of all, on this specific model, the hole is very small and it actually doesn't fit inside, like a Type-C cable, a normal Type-C cable. So that's why it's very hard to type found the Type-C to Type-C cable. Also, uh, even on the Workhouse FC11 that does have a big enough hole, you have to carry around another cable with you. This one you do not have to carry on another cable, um, so I guess that is the advantage. But if you are looking for a flashlight and a power bank in one, these are good options actually and uh, should not be overlooked if you're looking for an 18350, 18650 uh, battery charger. You could just slip out the battery really easily and actually use it as a do-it-yourself power bank, but you just have to carry around a cable in order to do that. Um, the funny part is about uh, what I'm talking about is that um, this actually doubles as a flashlight. As you can see on this side, there's a flashlight. So not only does my flashlight double as a uh, power bank, the power bank doubles as a flashlight. So I guess these two things are combined. Now, that is the reason you would buy one. Now, why to buy this one over other ones? I've been seeing this one around a lot, um, and this is very cheap. It cost me like a dollar, two dollars, something like that. And it looks very similar to this power bank right here, the um, Anchor power bank. However, um, this is a piece of junk, and I'll tell you why. It started smoking, and I wrote over here, started smoking. Um, and it's not like you could just pop in a battery, which would have been nice. Rather, you have to put in a battery like this. And this whole uh, board just started smoking when I put a battery in, um, so that's why it uh, was not something that I could use. Also, it only uses buttonless batteries like this. As you can see, they have no button. This one, for example, has a button on top. This is the button. It does not actually fit inside, so this does not fit in there. Um, and that's why you may not want to go with one of these. Also, um, the fact that it did smoke on me, I think would be a good idea to stay away from it. Could be I put it in the wrong way, uh, but this one actually does have reverse polarity uh, prevention, uh, safety, protection, whatever you want to call it. So therefore, um, I did put it in the battery the wrong, the wrong way and they had to check that out and it does in fact work. It didn't give me any problems, so that is nice. The reason why I had this idea is because I do have this uh, power bank. It's a pretty cool one. It's a lighter, but that doesn't work anymore. And a flashlight that doesn't work anymore either. But the power bank function of it does work. And it uses an 18350 bat uh, 18650 battery over here. And as you can see, you can just put in the 18650 and you could close it up. And you got a nice battery. And therefore, I could carry these two around and then I'll have a nice... Um, power bank, but like I said, this one has the Type-C cable already connected and uh, also does a variety of different batteries and uses Type-C, so that's really nice. And I think it also has a higher output. So that's why I would buy this over some of the other um, some of the other power banks. Let's talk about this power bank itself. Um, it's got a cable over here, and I'm going to measure the cable because it's, it's relatively short. Um, let's see. It is three and a half inches. All right. That's how big it is. Um, 
but it's nice to have it. You can just put it inside of your pocket. Um, it has a Type-A cable uh, port over here. That way, if you want to charge something that's not uh, using the Type-C, you totally can. Uh, it recharges itself using Type-C, and it has a flashlight here. Uh, it has a little indicator light here of how much battery has left, and there's a button so you can see how much battery there is left. Uh, so that's nice. Um, the back over here, you have this, and it opens up. And inside of here, there was this foam. Uh, I actually dropped this, and it still I think it still works. So um, we'll see it has some drop protection as well. So let's uh, start our test. Um, I'm going to start with a bigger battery, which is going to be a 21700 battery. And this one's in my Sofern. Um, I think this is called, called the LT1S. LT1S. Um, and I'm going to use a Sofern battery right here. So we're going to test it out. And it should fit. Now, this is the negative, and this is the positive right here. This is the button part, and this is buttonless. So I don't think it'll fit button batteries because this one already I had a hard time fitting. Now, you could put this in to make the fit a little bit easier and smoother. Um, but there you go. It fits inside. And uh, make sure you push down. Um, now, technically, this could go over here or over there in order to make a little bit. I think it's sticky. Like, you could pull this off, and if you want to keep something in there long term, I guess that could work. Um, once we put it in, we see that it does in fact work. And there are the LEDs inside to show you that it is uh, the four LEDs over here. Okay, and now we're gonna put this top on. Now with the 21700, it is a very tight fit. So when you put it in, it's gonna be hard to open it and I'll show you that um, in a minute. But as you can see, and with the 21700s, I really recommend this because it fits nicely. It does not shake around. Um, there is good movement. Let's uh, show what happens when you're charging it up. So if you put the type C cable in here, um, it will start charging and as you can see, the 100 is blinking because it is 75% full. I also showed on here 75% full. Um, they all come with a four battery indicators usually. Um, and now it's showing that it's just working. So let's try to charge my phone with it. But first, I actually want to show you some more of the different um, information, uh, different features, I guess, that it has. Um, so let's talk about the specifications. Um, okay, right here. Uh, made with high quality, durable material, ultra small, stable, we wide range of products. Okay, the input is five volts at two amps. So if you're charging it, it's gonna charge at two amps, which is really nice. And the output is also five volts at two amps, which is also very nice. That means it should charge your phone pretty quickly. Um, there are different colors. It's welding free and it shows all the batteries that it supports. And that's it. There's not much else to talk about. So let's try to charge the device. I plug it in and of course, since it is type C, you can plug it in anyway. And if you push it in, it gets a nice click. So now that it's plugged in, uh, it says 6% charging. So let's wait a minute until, let's wait until 12.50, see how well it charges. Now it's 12.50, which is basically a minute and a half later. And as you can see, it's already 8%. So it did charge uh, 2%. Now, of course, that's anecdotal and it's not conclusive at all, but it just shows that it definitely does work. Okay, now we'll close it up and we're going to try the next battery. And I really want to talk about the 18350s, uh, sorry, the 18650s and how that works. Now, when you put in a 21700 battery, it's actually going to be pretty hard to open this. Oh, I got it right away. Okay, so when you put in the 21700 batteries, if you do have trouble taking it out, you might need a tool like this in order to pull it out, but um, I was able to pull it out pretty easily. So just make sure it's all the way in when you do it. Um, again, this side is the positive and this side is negative, and it only will work with buttonless um, 21700s just because it looks like it's very, very tight. Now let's talk about uh, 18350s and a sad situation with that and why I'm a little bit unhappy. Uh, now, first of all, there are two types of batteries. And of course, the reason why um, it could be that it charged very well is because this is the Sofern um, 5000 21700 uh, battery, and it's actually a, a pretty decent quality battery. If you use something that's off-brand, for example, something like this, this is, these are off-brand batteries. Uh, for example, this is a workhouse battery, and the workhouse batteries are 3000 milliamp hours, and they are 3.7 volts as always, so always 3.7 volts. But this one is going to be only 2,200 milliamp hours um, because that's just, I guess it's lower quality, I guess. Um, so the thing is, is that, yeah, you can put this in, okay? And it will work, as you can see. However, it is going to shake around, and that's why they gave you this foam. But you'll need a lot more foam than this if you want to make sure this doesn't shake around. I'm going to show you what, what I mean. So I'm going to put that in. I'm going to close this up again. Okay, and it's working, and you could hear it shaking around. Like, it's not not a good situation. So you don't want to do that, really. Honestly, not a good idea. What you want to do is either put in this foam, or um, there is these uh, plastic thingies that you can get. They basically turn an 18650 
into an 18, uh, 2100 size, but still, even with the size, 21700 is, is thicker. Not so much thicker, but it's thicker. All right, so if we put this in, and again, I just dropped it again. Okay, it's not a lot of fun to try to put them in both in together, but it does work. Like, you can get it in. And when you do get it in, like, this is still shaking around. You might want to put, like, foam in between, like, these two layers, I guess. Maybe, but it does shake around a nice amount. Um, anyway, uh, let's close it up now. Let's see how it works. Let's see how shaky it is. Okay. And it fits. It's still a little shaky, but not nearly as bad as it was before. So that feels a little better. Honestly, I, I wouldn't recommend this with the 18650 just because of the shakiness. Um, and uh, yeah, it works. Oh, it works. And it looks like it is very um, durable because I keep smashing it around and it's still continuing to work. So let's uh, just try to charge it with this and see how that goes. And it is still charging, as you can see, charging. Okay, and as you can see, the button battery also fits. Um, we're gonna put on the cover over here. Gosh, that's the wrong way. I'm being really clumsy today, aren't I? And it, it's working. So um, you can use the button, buttonless battery, uh, 18350, uh, sorry, 18650, and the 21700s are working fine in here. Um, I recommend if you have the 21700s, if you have the 18350s, maybe you have to grab some more foam, and I will try to get some foam. So here I have some foam. Let's see how much that helps. All right. Maybe I could try to put this in here with it. All right, I'm trying to put this in together. Oh, the foam is not doing too well over here. All right, so that's not working, but uh, perhaps if it's in like this, actually put foam on top maybe or on the side and it'll be better like you could put the foam over here maybe I don't know there there are different things you could try definitely oh you could put it also on top like this see if that helps I'm always putting this the wrong way Okay, so now it's not shaking. There's foam sticking at the bottom. But I'm, what I'm trying to say is that you could perfect this and it'll be a lot better with the 18350. Uh, but it does, it's not like something you could just pop in and take off. Uh, like the flashlights are so much easier. You can literally just take off the screw and put it in um, and that's very convenient. So like depending on what you're planning on doing with this type of thing, um, I think it's nice that there are a variety of different options. Uh, those plastic things I got from Workhouse's website, um, they're used with, flat, with uh, flashlights a lot. Um, they're used with flashlights a lot, so that's very nice. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's give a little conclusion here. Uh, the conclusion is, the conclusion is that I, I really like it. Um, it's a nice piece. Uh, I like the type, fact that the Type C charger just works. Um, it does charge at a fast rate. It has a flashlight. Oh, let's test the flashlight. So the way the flashlight works is that you press it once and then you press it again and the flashlight turns on. And then you press it once and once again and the flashlight turns off. So basically just click it once, twice, on, once, twice, off. Okay, so in conclusion for the third time, I'm sorry, uh, but I wanted to give you a very clear, concise conclusion, is that first of all, if um, if you don't want to get a regular power bank, um, regular power banks are better in a bunch of ways. First of all, you don't have to get your own battery. You don't have to plug it in, screw it in. It's probably more waterproof. It's probably not going to have any problems of reverse polarity, and the battery might be higher quality. This one looks like it's an 18, using an 18650 battery, but it doesn't have Type-C on this one, and the cable isn't built in, but you can of course get those. Now, um, when it comes to making a DOI battery uh, pack, there are a few options. Um, I've seen this one. Do not get this one. It smoked on me when I put it in, um, and it only works with buttonless batteries. So that's these batteries that don't have buttons on top. These ones have buttons. You need to uh, get the buttonless ones. And um, I'm assuming you probably want to have a good uh, a good like uh, output. Uh, <clears throat> this one that I have here is not necessarily one that I would recommend because um, it has a lighter that didn't work. I don't think the power is too strong and the flashlight doesn't seem to work anymore. Uh, but it does fit an 18650 in really nicely. So uh, if you do want to get something like this, the brand is called Sa Suaoki. Um, and it does work uh, if you want something snug fitting. Now this one, honestly, it's a good piece. For the price, you're definitely getting what you pay for. Um, it, it has it's, it's cheaper plastic, but um, it has a lot of uh, good features. Uh, first of all, I like the fact that it has a built-in cable. That's really nice. Um, the button, the indicator lights totally work fine. Um, the 
the USB out. It's a good thing to have in case you don't want to use that. Uh, it uses Type-C to charge. It has a flashlight that works. Um, talk about inside. It's a little bit chunkier inside, but it still it works well. Um, the 18, uh, sorry, the 21700s fit really nicely, only without a button. The 18650s, they fit, but I would recommend, first of all, using this plastic thing that you can get, and also um, button and buttonless both fit, so that's good, and also maybe use some foam. So this and some foam on the top, and it could work. Um, make sure you're using a higher quality battery for better output. Uh, if you do put this in, just keep in mind, if you put it in straight up, it will shake around a lot. So I wouldn't recommend just putting it in by itself, but you can carry around like a pack of two of these, so that way you could just switch them out whenever it's charged. Now, another option that could be good for you um, that you may have not thought about is getting a flashlight that has a power output. Um, like, for example, this FC... This FC13 uh, has an, a power output, but the one that I recommend would definitely be the FC11. And usually it comes in the same size as this, and usually it uses an 18650 battery, but I just got a shorter tube, so that way um, it'll be easier for me to carry. But this is a good recommendation if you want something that just outputs power really nicely. You just need to carry around the cable with you. A Type-C to Type-C cable. This is waterproof. It is really easy to switch out the battery. You literally just unscrew the bottom, and you can just switch out the battery. And it has a clip, so you could even... I have a clip to you, and it also has power indicator. So, for example, when I um, turn it on, you'll see it's green, showing you that it has over 30% power. So, it has all the things that um, this power bank has, uh, but it just doesn't have the built-in uh, cable, and it doesn't fit the 21700. Of course, um, there are other flashlights and lanterns that use 21700 batteries. So, this is a really long enough video, but I wanted to be uh, completely completely open about everything and uh, honestly um, I learned a lot of stuff today as well thanks for watching